Dabby, uh, a very happy new year to you. Um, I'm sure it's a, a place you have some very fond memories, um, obviously three time winner here and, and a great record. Uh, just talk about playing here to start your year off. Um, yeah, I mean I've started here the last, well, I think every year since I'm on tour since 2007. So, um, and I've been very successful, there's always a place where I like to come and, uh, you know, I started off well almost every year. I mean, I, I won or I missed the cut and the other the other um, results, they were still fine. I think I finished in the top 10 a lot of times and that gave me a lot of motivation for the beginning of the season. So, it's been always worked out very, very nicely here. I got into a run of consistency at the end of last year. Um, just tell us about the preparations over the Christmas period and um, how are you feeling about your game coming into this week? Uh, the Christmas preparation or the preparation for this year was a little bit different. You know, I went home to Germany for Christmas since I've been home for seven years. So it was a little bit of a uh, going back and forth always. You know, I was in America before just a holiday with some friends and then I came back on the 23rd of December uh, back to Germany and then stayed there for three days and then went back to Phoenix to practice. Uh, it was a little bit, I mean I, I really wanted to be home this year but it was not ideal because you know it takes a lot of energy. You know, I, I usually I, I, when you have time off you don't want to go through jet lags but I did it, I did it to myself you know to when, when, because I went to America, it was before that uh, I was in Germany, so one jet leg there, back to Germany, another one, back to America, back here, it's like, so I, I didn't really save much, much energy or gain much energy, um, but the time that I practiced in Phoenix the last couple of weeks was quite nice, and it's always tough to say how you will start off, you know, if you have five, six weeks off, um, we will see, but I, I look forward to play this week again and play golf again. Thank you very much, Martin. Well, uh, there's lots of questions, I think, you and at the back. Martin, to, to what extent, if at all, is, is the Ryder Cup already in your thinking for this year? <coughs> uh, not now. You know, it's, it's not so much about uh, the Ryder Cup, it's not much to do with winning Abu Dhabi, Qatar, or the next two, three events that way. You know, I mean, you, you can win this week in Qatar, and then this doesn't mean that you're in the Ryder Cup, it's more about the big events. In terms of the year, I presume that's still one of your main ambitions is to be in that team. Yeah, it's I mean, it's not the main goal right now because if you focus on the ultimate, you you, you forget about the others. I mean, the the point is all the steps to get there. So you know, the goal is to play well step by step and then eventually make it. And I mean, you will think a little bit more serious about it maybe a couple of months before then you really. Maybe you change your schedule a little bit to, to get into the team, but now it's uh, it's way too early. Uh, Joy down in front. Martin, obviously you know this golf course very well, uh, having birdied, as you always say, all 18 holes on this golf course. But uh, did you find some changes this year? I mean, guys have been really talking about the height of the rough. That's going to be really penal. Well, the, the, obviously the biggest, yeah, the biggest change is the rough. You know, they is not only higher. They grow the graph, the rough from the from the green towards the tee. Like if you miss the fairway, you always hit into the grain in the deep rough, so you don't get really far. Today I, I I'm, I'm missed a few fairways, and I had I only I could only chip out like a sand bench, 50, 60 yards. So you got really penalized for not hitting good tee shots. Um, and then there's a change in 18 with the tee box, which. Um, I think it doesn't make a big difference. As a change, it actually makes the hole look nicer because you see more of the entire hole. Before that, you could only see the bunkers and a little piece of the fairway, but now you're a little bit elevated and you see more, which is quite nice. Tony? I know first you got two new sponsors, but looking at 2014 in the bigger picture, what's the sort of big objective for you then? The bigger what? The objective in the, in the, in the year as a whole, rather than how I know. You and I mentioned about the Ryder Cup. You mean my goals? Yeah, just the whole year. The goals. It's more about the big tournaments. You know, I I won a few of the European Tour events. I am, uh, which is always nice to to win those to gain motivation and 
and see on what level you're playing right now. But the main goal is to to put yourself as much as possible, preferably every week, into a possibility of winning the golf tournament on Sunday afternoon. And then obviously by the end of your career it comes down, in my opinion, how many majors, how many World Golf Champion events and Ryder Cups you've played and, and won. So um, that's the main focus, you know, the, main, the big tournaments, the, um, I'd say the ultimate of golf, what, what we all play for, what is, what's, uh, what we prepare for already now, you know, thinking about Augusta, how, how you're going to um, set up your schedule. So those things, they are very important, um, which doesn't mean that the other terms are, are not, not important, but they, it's more like, a, let's say, a step step by step thing towards the the, the main attraction of, of the of the whole year. You know, if you only four chances. So that's that's the main thing. Uh, go to Trent and follow. Uh, given you've had so much success here, do you feel like you come here with an extra, I suppose, spring in your step and a bit more confidence than perhaps somewhere else or is it just business as usual and just the same as any other tournament? I mean, you know, obviously I've won here three times but it doesn't mean that I play play well every year or that I have a big advantage. You know, everybody has played the golf course as much as I have. Um, I made a few more birdies and less bogeys than others, but that doesn't mean it's a big advantage. You know, I, I feel comfortable here, that's for sure. Um, so, but every year is a new start and there are new players on tour, you know, they came from Challenge Tour. Um, I have to develop my, my game, so it, it's, it's changing every year. Um, so the expectation is not like come here. If I don't win, it's like oof, kind of like a disappointing start. That's not the case. You know, it's there's more competition, and um, but it's in general. You know, I I really enjoy coming here. Overall, the people, the golf course, the food, the hotel, everything feels really comfortable to me. Uh, Walton at the back. Martin, I'm sure Craig Connolly will be keen that you make the Ryder Cup team if possible. Can you talk a little bit about your relationship with him and his main attributes, please? Yeah, Craig and me, we started working together in 2010. And obviously we had a very successful year and then um, because of certain reasons we we split up for yeah pretty much another year. And then I, I decided and I asked him if he would like to get it for me again. And, because I had I have so much fun with Craig, you know, it's very important that you have someone that even off the golf course that, that you get along, that you talk once in a while on the phone and, and try to get to know the person. When you travel three or four weeks in a row that you have someone that you can have dinner with. So and that's really nice and, and he's a very good character, really fun and he takes a lot of stuff away from me and uh, um, so he's not only the, a, a kitty in a way of, you know, he knows the golf course, he knows how to play the game. Um, he really, you know, tries to you know, take a lot of stuff away, which is not important, you know, it's, it's like distractions um, that he knows that I don't like through experience and through all the uh, months and years we work together. So it's, uh, I'm very glad to have him. and. Uh, Especially last year, the Ryder Cup, or two years ago, he, he helped a lot in the last three, four holes. But it's not easy when you're in a situation like this, which is very uh, unusual, or you can't really prepare. And if you have a laugh on 15 or 16, we go some, I don't know, can't say the word now, but uh, something completely stupid, <laughs> then uh, yeah, it relaxes a little bit. Uh, Joy in the front row again. So going back to the golf, the condition the golf course is in, do you think uh, a score like 24 under with which you won over here is possible? It's possible. I don't believe so, but it's possible. I think uh, less is uh, has a good chance. You know, not 24. I don't, I don't know why 24. Did I shoot 24? Yes, you did. Okay. Um, no, I, I don't believe because a cut off golf course is definitely as hasn't been tougher. I think well, it's very difficult now to play. And today was a fairly calm day. Usually it's more windy and then obviously it becomes more difficult. Uh, I, I don't really want to... I would say if you shoot two or three under, or three under par every day, you will have a realistic chance to win it by Sunday.
they would be my guess. So they have to stick to that. So, any more questions for Martin? Are we all happy? Okay, well, thanks for joining us. Best of luck yeah. this week. Thank you.